welcome to mont blue prep mont blue prep is a preparatory track of mont blue which helps you in improving your programming skills and get into mont blue so wherein you are going to get into mont blue by scoring 2600 points through hacker rank or by taking the test in the hacker rank so these skills will help you out in the process so as part of the series of sessions that we have been taking in today's session so i'll be taking up the topic of objects in javascript so let me share my screen right so an object is collection of properties wherein each property has a key value combination so such properties collection of such properties combined together with with each pair represented by the key and value so how we are going to have that one let whatever object we are going to have this is syntax let us take for the object so whatever object name we are creating this object name there are different ways in which you can create the object the basic thing is where each property has a key and value so this is the key one you are going to have then this is the value associated with that key then separated by you will be having comma then you'll be giving another key like that you can give multiple properties the key names must be unique the values can be anything now when we have value here the value can be anything it can be a scalar value like a integer or number boolean string null it can be anything value can be or it can be an array or it can be another object or it can be a function as well these are the things that you can have in the place of value now this is how you are going to have an object created this is the basic and easiest way of creating so whatever object you want to create is the name of the object then you are going to have different keys separate value then separate by this one next key next key like that you can create multiple key value combinations or properties fine so this is one way of creating the object let's take one simple example we'll take up the operations of third c u create update read and delete let's create an object like same example like uh, i'm taking student is equals to generally student has what id okay like student id we are taking so id is the key and the value associated with that is this one id is 101 comma then name of the student name then colon you are going to give here name of the student whatever it is raj then the course this simple example that shows you how the object is created
the name of the object here is student now in this case you can see here uh, like id name course is created there are three properties for this one where each key is associated value with that one now if you want to access the values by their key from each property so we can use the dot notation there are two ways you can see here uh, we are using the dot notation that is object name dot the key has returned as the value of one not one this is one way or you can use the square bracket notation this is the second way you can access mm, yeah when we are accessing like this you have to enclose this in the single quotes fine got the value as one not one so this is how you can access each property value by using its key in this case key is this one not id so you got the value associated with that key one not one good so you can update also so how how can we update the same way once you are accessing student dot id can use any syntax is equals to 102 so now you can see how it will be updated you can change the values console dot log student what it would do we just change here you can see how we have updated that one no reading already we have seen this one how can we read the values in an object by using its key okay we can delete as well if you want to delete an uh, property we can delete it as well so for that you can use delete space yeah i want to delete suppose student dot uh, course console dot log student you can see a name is deleted in this one so you can create okay an object and uh, update the object and delete any properties from the object using the delete statement now suppose student dot i want to give email id email id is not there in that one so i want to update that email id so this would create email if that uh, key does not exist whatever key the property does not exist then it will be created a@gmail.com we'll take up more examples here on the object we'll just go to the basic concepts then immediately we'll shift to the examples very interesting examples we'll take up so that you get a good idea of objects you can see uh, email id was not there it has been added to the it has been added Now this is one way of creating the object. The second way is we can use the object keyword and create. Like suppose I want to create where some object name you are giving um, item is equals to new object. So this would create an empty object. Now whatever. properties and values want you can assign it now suppose item is there item code is not there in that one will be added item code is equals to 1 not 1 item cost is equals to 300 console dot lock you can see a item let it so you can use this new keyword to allocate the memory and object using the object to create one. this is the second method you can create an object there are another method also like from an object uh, you can create yeah the object name where yeah i'm giving it as uh, item underscore 
purchased is equals to new or no end of new year sorry so object dot create from an item so already existing object is there from that we are creating a new object now see here in this case what it will have is okay it is empty purely empty so what items you want that we are going to specify here why it is empty because when we have created item it is using new later on we have added now suppose if i have created it using this object student let's see here if we have created it using student isn't it then also it is so these are the three ways there is another way also like using the classes concept suits uh, using a constructor that I am not going to discuss this is a basic way that you can create an object. I will just comment it to make it easy for you. Yeah. Now here in this example you have seen we are having student ID number, name and course these three things now here the as i have explained at the beginning that value can be anything suppose you want to give languages known okay what are the languages known to the user or student so in that i want to have an array good so you can give c and uh, C plus plus then Java. In this case, what you have here, there is an array. The values place you have an array. So list of values. So you want to traverse that one. How we are going to traverse is the same way how you are using arrays. Now next one is suppose I want to have an object like uh, languages known and um, Suppose I want to have exam details. Example, we'll take here. Okay. Now in this case, I want to have an object. So the value can be an object as well. So I uh, can take same one. Same one here scored uh, how many marks? Then same two. What are the marks scored that you can have here? Good. In this case, you can see here this is an object that is having what array as a value or you can have what another object as a value yeah let's make it simple yes you can see a language is known suppose simply i want to get the language is known it would be an array Now in this case, exam details is a. If we take look at this one exam details. It is again an object. Sem one is standard. This one, yeah, you can perform the operation. Now from that again, if you want to have sem one, yeah, you can give here sem one. Isn't it value of service sem one is how much? Three hundred. So this is how we can have the objects. Yeah, we can have the functions also like uh, suppose display info. Now in this case, you can see how this member is a function. We can have a scalar value, a integer, a string or a can have an array you can have an object as a value or you can have a function also as a value yeah, i can just uh, give you a console just I'll see for console dot log then this is the keyword that is used to refer to the refer to the current object this dot id or display the id so the way you are going to call the function here you're going to call it so just student dot 
display you can give all the values as well display info that would uh, give you the value isn't it like you can display other details also name this prepared by this one a simple example that shows you how we can use create objects and have different values in an array yeah when to use the yeah when we can use bracket means whenever we are having here yeah. so when to use bracket means these names are i'll come to that one so whenever we are having when we use dot notation and when we use that in suppose now in this case m1 i have given in the single quotes isn't it now i can be having space also in this one like uh, i'll give you an example mm. yeah let's see a mobile number now this key is having space this key is having the space isn't it so in that case if i give console dot log student dot mobile space number you will get error isn't it so it is not recognizing that so that way we have to give it in the single quotes i hope that works okay. mm, yeah don't need of dot sorry isn't it so that way we can use the bracket notation square bracket notation or dot to refer to that Yeah, we can return the value also. If at all you want to return any value, you can just return the value as well. Return this dot id of anything in a function. If at all you want to return any value, that remains the same. That concept. Yeah, this is a simple example. Now let's go to how we can have array of objects and perform various operations on that one. Now, simple example uh, will take up. I'll just comment this all. I hope this is clear for everyone. Uh, like, take an array. Fine. Like uh, student ID is there, name is there, and uh, we have an array in this one marks. So these are the student marks. Let us take twenty, comma forty, comma sixty, comma yeah ninety. So how do we find the sum of the marks? How do you get the total marks in this one? Yeah, you can use the. It's an array, so you can use reduce, isn't it? So let total marks. Is equals to how would you get that one? Student of marks or dot marks you can give here. Isn't it? This an array. So you can use the what function here? The reduce. Isn't it? And reduce and then what can you give here? Reduce of yeah a comma b fine. Cool. Then. A plus B, isn't it? So marks is an array basically. So you can just use the reduce and get the total marks the student has secured. So you can just display that. Console dot log of total marks. Yeah, where is that? There's another bracket required. Extra bracket given.
yeah there is l here fine you got the total of these values isn't it just like an array so in an object we are having an array in that i want to get the total of that one good the total of the marks uh, that the student has see this is one way you can get it how you are using array here isn't it within an object to perform yeah all the operations on the object you can perform here the same way that you are performing on the arrays like you can use map reduce these all things can be performed equally the same way now i want to get the like uh, minimum of the marks maximum of the marks you can do that one isn't it so you have to use that one or you are going to use the reduce and get the minimum of the marks so how would you do that one so what are the minimum marks secured by the student so for that let min marks is equals to you are going to use what student of here marks isn't it then dot reduce of a comma b yeah we have to write a greater than b question mark a then colon b isn't it so this would uh, give you the minimum marks the student has secured console dot log min of marks does it work okay fine good now let's go to the next concept of how we can use the object and keys so if you want to get the keys only keys from an object you can see a console dot log object dot keys of student this would display the key only key so when we are able to access the key we can just perform any operation is it okay so if you want to get the keys you can use object dot keys and access that one console dot log object dot values of student so this would give you the values so it could give the values isn't it just uh, simply the values so in this case values are what 101 raj and this is an array good so that works you can see uh, in this case this we have created is an object dot keys of student will give you the key individual key that are that is there in that one now you want to find the sum of the keys like fine uh, we'll take another example here uh, let's take one uh, object here items is equals to so whatever items that were uh, purchased that we are going to have here let's take here example call get 90 rain the total items okay 300 and some oil 1000 we want to get the sum of the key values then how do you get that you want to get the sum of these items you purchase so how will you get that one 
Yes. I want to get the sum of ninety plus thirty plus one thousand. So how will we get that one? So when we are getting it, values is in the form of an array, isn't it? From that we can just perform the sum. Sum of items. Then we will use the function reduce. Okay. Yeah, a comma b you can give here. Can you a plus b? This would uh, display the total. Object dot values dot item. So we got this one. Reduce one more bracket. So values of this one will give us uh, ninety. So this one, okay, it's giving us that. I think one more console is missing here. So it would just give the sum of the total elements, or sorry, sum of the total values for each key. That is thirteen ninety. Fine. Now you can get the maximum. Yeah, the high the. Price of the highest uh, item that is purchased. That also we can get it. Okay, or uh, whatever is the highest item purchased, its name we can get it. So in this case, this is thousand, and uh, you are having it as what oil. So we could use that also. But I want to get the item which has been purchased. Its cost, the item with the highest cost. That we can get it. Good. Now let's uh, go to the next concept, like array of objects. How we can use the array of objects and uh, do one or more examples. Fine. Let's take. Uh, we are having an array of objects. Let's take here example bikes. Yeah. So I'll copy it from the source. I have it. Let's take an example here. Like we have an array of objects where each object has the bike name and the bike cost. Good. Now from this one, I want to get the bike name. Yeah, that is having the highest cost. So how would you get that? Like uh, in this case, you can say it's an array of what objects, where each element in an array is an object. I want to get the bike name that is having the highest cost. How would we do that one? Can we sort? Okay, yeah, it could be having different bikes. Uh, let's take some more here. I want to find the name of the bike with the highest cost. So how would you get that one? Name I want. Fine. Let's sort this one. So bikes is equals to. You are sorting this one. So bikes is an array. So you can apply the function sort here. So when we are applying sort function, you get the values, isn't it? 
so let's see here we get what object 1 comma object 2 that is one by one you'll be getting the object at a time then what we'll be giving here so with respect to what we'll be comparing is price so obj1 dot price minus obj2 dot price Now let's see, are we getting this at sorted or not, first of all. Yeah, we're getting this sorted in the ascending order. Good. So the last element is the one with the highest cost. Okay, so you can just uh, get it as last element or you can just take uh, the descending order at the top. So you can make it as what, object two minus object one. It will give you what all the array of objects started in the descending order. Good. Now I want the byte with the name. So what what would be doing here? So it is in the solid order. So you can give us bytes of zero mm, dot name. Isn't it? So this would print the name of the bike. Isn't it? Apache that is having the highest cost. Good. So that way we can use the sort function on the array of objects yeah you can use uh, like suppose i want to find the sum of the total isn't it sum of the total costs of the bikes you want to purchase so you can use what reduce and uh, go for that one so you'll get it isn't it you can reduce it's an array of objects now so if you want to use reduce how would uh, you get that one so actually this would not uh, be visible but we'll try it like total cost of all the bikes is equals to how much? So how would we get that one? Yeah. So bikes in an object, so we can reduce it. So you are using reduce. Reduce of what? Object will go as a parameter here. Fine. Then what we'll be doing here? Yeah, each object will go as a parameter, isn't it? Then we have to add it. This is the accumulator sum comma obj, isn't it? Yeah, in this case compulsory we have to give the value comma zero. Initial value of that is zero. So what will be in here sum plus obj dot price. So that would uh, add isn't it? In this case, sum is initial value is zero. Then obj dot price will give us this one first value. Then that is added to the sum. Isn't it? Let's check that one. Console dot log total cost would display the total cost of all the bikes that we have in this one. Yeah, I can see here this one that works. Good. Now suppose I want to find the bikes uh, whose cost is those bikes whose cost is more than uh, what you call 50,000 more than 50,000 how would you do this one yes cost of those bikes whose cost sorry details of those bikes whose cost is more than 50,000 so how will we do this one good. yeah we can use the filter function the answer has come good so you can apply that one console.log directly yeah, you can apply bikes dot filter function. Good filter. So filter directly takes an object. Uh, then let's have a callback function. So what is the condition here? Obj dot price it should be what greater than fifty thousand. So this will display the first three bikes. I hope so. It works. Good. Isn't it? So this works. Is that okay? Now, see here for each bike, I want to give a rating. Like uh, for those bikes which whose uh, cost is more than eighty thousand, I want to give the price as low, otherwise high. 
it's not there in this one when we got the objects it is not there later on i want to assign that one so how can we give that one i want to add another property isn't it that is some rating either low or high so how can we give that one based on the cost if the cost is more than 80000 we are giving it as high if it is less than that we are giving it as what low so how would we use that one for each of each and every object in the array so how could we use that one yeah we have seen sort reduce filter yes for that we had to use a concept of what map for each and everything so what we can give here yeah so bikes dot map is it so i getting the object as a parameter so obj so what will be doing here yeah it's a callback function so we'll do that one yes so what we need to do here is to obj dot price yes if obj dot price is what let's do this one if it will be easy obj dot price if it is greater than 80000 So what we have to do here? OBJ of rating, isn't it? OBJ of rating is equals to what? You'll be giving it as what? High. Else, OBJ of rating. Rating is not there, so it will be created in this one. In this one rating is not there, so it will be created. So it would uh, assign what value low. Fine. Now, as a map, will take each and every object in the array. Is it? So in this case, first case, what will happen? OBJ will be taken. So OBJ will have what the details of the first object. Apache. So its cost is what one lakh. One lakh is greater than this one. Eighty thousand condition is true. So rating will be created here, isn't it? And it will the value for that will be what high. Its uh, rating is what high in terms of cost. Now next item also will be taken and uh, next item when it iterates the next object it is going to have is shine. In that case it will be having. this condition is false it will go to else and set the rating as what low so that why it will iterate yeah as you know that it will return an object so we need to again assign it to our bikes so bikes is equals to this way it would assign that one right so that way it could uh, one by one it, go, it is going to process that one and uh, assign the value to the bikes once it is getting that is an again an array yeah so we have to return this as we have written the in the callback function so it ends here isn't it so we have to return the object here so return obj we have modified it so that object we are going to return yeah let's do a console of this and check whether we are having that added or not yes you can see here in this case that uh, at the beginning we were not having rating so the rating of i has been given to this one price whose price is what more than 80000 so that way we can apply this thing so when we are having array of uh, objects on this one we can apply these things yeah just give a quick look at that one how we are having how any queries in that you can ask me the map we have applied on array of objects you can see all reduce filter and select 
okay yeah we can give the multiple things here yeah bikes dot uh, one question has come from ashok so bikes dot reduce obj dot uh, comma sum yeah correct answer only good just give, take a quick look at that one fine So you can extract that one, isn't it? Now, suppose in an array of objects, suppose if we are having what you call uh, duplicates, if you want to recover the duplicates in an uh, array of objects, like there could be objects repeated, uh, isn't it? So in that case, how we are going to remove the duplicates in this array? If at all we are having that, yeah, I will just comment this. So how we are going to duplicate? Uh, have uh, duplicate removed? Like suppose uh, by mistake or wantedly, if we have these things repeated, let's take here some of the repeated values. Yes. So how we are going to get that one if we have the repeated values? Yes, for that you have to use the function filter. Good. Okay, so let's give this one. So bytes dot filter okay so filter takes how many parameters actually filter takes how many parameters first parameter is what the object isn't it in this then the second parameter is the index i can take it as i the next parameter is an array itself isn't it that is being processed now in this case bytes is the array that is being processed isn't it Fine. Okay, so bikes dot filter. So we are going to have that one. What remove the duplicates? Now, when we are getting this array, so in that array we are having uh, a function that can be used to find the index. So we can just yeah find uh, index. So which elements index we are going to find? What is the actual value that goes here? That goes as a parameter, isn't it? That also takes a callback function, isn't it? That also takes a callback function. So in this case, array is an object. So we can have here object uh, one. only one thing yeah now what we are going to do here obj dot name is equals to what obj one dot name if the two the, we are comparing with respect to the name only okay if you want to have same everything price may differ can you and also isn't it? You can give here iron and compare with the price also. So obj dot name is equals to obj one dot name. So what will happen here if this is a font? If the index is font, isn't it? Fine. So so that if it is font at any location, we are going to get that one. So array dot uh, find index of this one. If this index is equals to is equals to i 
okay so we are going to filter it that way let's see how this works control dot log this yeah fine it works now you can see our pulsar was there two times isn't it and uh, shine is there two times so it has been taken only once so find index will find the index at which the element is there if that index is equal to that then we are going to filter according to that one isn't it apache is there if this index and this index is same yeah then apache is taken shine is there good then pulsar is there so pulsar if it is all for for, for the first occurrence it is not there it will be taken for filter will just take that one also good now car is there car was not there it will be taken now shine whenever we are taking the index of that one okay so that it will give you the loss index this is not same isn't it why because shine is already there at this place zero sorry one index so you'll be getting this as one and this index is what four so this will not be retrieved and pulsar if you take the find index of this pulsar so you'll be getting the pulsar is there at index of what zero one two second index and this will return as the index of what five so this does not match and this is not returned so that way you can just filter and take the unique values from an array of objects is it clear if you have any repeating values yeah like uh, some of you may be having doubts sir if you have uh, shine could be there and cost could be differing you can write the condition what the condition is what and and all the like uh, properties you have to compare mm, obj dot what price price is equals to yeah obj one dot price so this would uh, compare with all the properties good so that way we can use the array of objects and manipulate with this one Yeah, guys, we'll just take up the questions in last uh, few minutes. Just... Any queries? So uh, you can just text me in the chat. So we'll have the discussions on that. Yeah, arrow function, how it is used? I'll just tell you that one. I'll come to that questions one by one. Let me stop the recording.